Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and welcome to day three of the 10 Day Wire Gift Making Challenge. So today's a special video for Yvonne's granddaughter, Sophia. She loves magic wands. You can use a variety of materials and just choose the design you want to make. I have 16 gauge wire, 18 gauge, 20, 24, optional uh, sea glass or stones, and optional beads. So I'm going to start with the star and the sea glass and I'm going to use the 16 gauge wire for this one. You could use 18 gauge if you prefer, if you want to make it a little smaller. And basically I want to form the star first. So I'm going to start about uh, three and a half inches, could be four inches from the end and I'm going to just give it a little bend and you want the five sides of the star to be all the same length so I'll give them give that that bend I'm not going to make it too huge I'll do about two and a half inches so we're going to bend it here at two and a half inches and then here you're just going to keep it the same length so all the sides are the same length it's almost like you're drawing a five point star so just keep going with it here you see how it's coming along you can see the star coming so we're going to bend it again here okay and then there you pretty well have your five point star and then you're going to do some adjusting well, we want to make sure we do a bend to know what size the last line is so we're just going to two and a half and then i'm going to bend it sort of the opposite way so it's going down so let's remove the ruler and straighten this out a little bit here and we're going to just bend this down now i do have an older video for the magic wand it was a live stream so the quality isn't great but it shows you how to make the wands and wind the wire around a dowel so that's another option even for the challenge if you want to do that as well but for the challenge i'm just going to make the handle out of wire also some people have made magic wands by um, attaching like a crystal or something to the end of an actual stick. So you can go out in the nature and grab a stick if you want to make a wand with a stick as well. So I'm just going to bend this end around here and then just give it a little clip. So to make the handle, just to keep it simple, I'm just going to use the wire and it's for sure it's fine with this thicker wire. I don't want to make it too long because I don't want to run out of wire but let's straighten it out and then give it a little measure. So if we bring it here and maybe make it you want to make sure there's enough to wind around so let's just do it six inches say and I had cut a 40 inch piece of wire so keep that in mind if you want to make a longer stick just cut your wire longer. So we'll do it six inches and we're just going to take the pliers and bend it around so basically all you really have to do now is wind the wire back up if you want to add beads you can you could definitely use your imagination with this so to hold it uh, tightly we're going to hold this with our flat pliers and just wind it up and don't worry about if it's super even it's not really a big deal we're just going to wind it all the way up so I actually had quite a bit of wire left over. I could have made the handle like eight inches or even a little bit more, but sometimes it's hard to tell. So now to finish it off, I'm just gonna bring it all the way up and just wind it around there and then clip the end. And I could save this to make something else later. So there's our basic wand with the wire wound around and then now we want to add a piece of this sea glass or a crystal so we could add that in the middle and then to do that we're going to get the 20 gauge wire so to attach the crystal i cut a 15 inch piece of wire i'm just going to attach it to one of the intersections here on the star and we're just going to wind it and then we're going to come over to this side and we can bend it around this intersection here. So we're just going to bend it around here and then what we can do is place our 
crystal or our sea glass on there and we can go ahead and start winding it around here. You just want to make sure there's enough wire to hold it in place. We're going to go here and tie that one around so it's snug-ish and then this one here we can go over to this intersection here and bring it around. Stick that one in here, give it a little pull and then we could just come around back to this intersection here. So as much wire as you think that you need to get it attached in place. And my previous uh, video, which was the live stream, I think I put several stones together, several pieces of glass. So you can experiment with that. So we're gonna come over here and then you're just gonna wind it, not in the intersection, but just somewhere in the middle of that line. So we're gonna take that and as it gets shorter, the wire, you might have to grab it with your pliers just to be able to actually grip it. So we're gonna bring it around here and if you have enough, you could bring it over to the other side. But the other thing you can do is just clip the short end and bring this other piece over to the other side. So whatever, you know, works well, just keep going until you see that your stone is securely in place. And we're just going to pull that tight, bring that here. And then for sure, especially if it's for a child, you can just pinch the end in so it's tight. And if you want to tighten up your wires, you can always do the my little hack where I just take these and just give them like little bends. And not only does it tighten up the, uh, the wires, tightens up the wrap, but it gives it a nice little fancy look to it. So you can definitely go in once you've done the initial wrap with the, like a flick of the wrist, you just tighten them up and there you go. So for the hand one, I'm going to use 18 gauge wire. I cut about 25 inches. Just depends on how big you want to make it. So what we have to do first is just form the hand. So you can use a template, a uh, picture like a clip art or something like that. You can actually trace your own hand and you can shrink it down and uh, trace it. That's a possibility too. Or you can just like look at your hand and imagine what it looks like. So we're just going to go ahead and start forming the hand. Don't worry too much about it if it's perfect or not. S sometimes it's better to switch back and forth to your smaller pliers to do the at the bottom of the hand and just go to my bigger pliers if you don't have big enough round pliers you can use the end of a pen to get the round form as well so we're just going to go ahead my hand's a little bit stiff here but uh, that's okay you can make it a little more like curvy and stylized if you want to so you see that the, those are, the lines are about in the same place and then that it dips down for the thumb so we're going to go down here dips down a bit for the thumb and then we're just going to form the thumb here let's have a look around here and then kind of it forms like a little sort of curve right like that so we're just going to go around here and around here and then we're just going to bend this one down like that and we can just attach this one here bring that here and then if you want to bring it up and form like a little spiral you can totally do that i probably should have cut this end a little bit longer but that's okay so sometimes i form my spirals on a cone this way i'll do it the other way way where you just work from the outside in so if you just take that make a loop and then just kind of gradually turn it around and you can use your pliers to bring them in to bring it in around like that and around and around so spirals are a really nice kind of symbol there's something mystical about the way a spiral looks so we're just going to bring that one in and like i said you could definitely do a bigger spiral than that and because i do not have a lot of wire and um, i'm not going to twist it back the same way i did the other one i'm just going to fill this up with beads 
So once you have as much beads as you want on there, you can just go ahead and cut the end to 3 8 to half an inch and then take the round pliers and just bend it back and around and that just finishes it off. And there you have your beaded magic wand. So for the heart wand, I'm going to use about 30 inches of the 18 gauge wire. You need a round form, so like a marker or a ring cone or a pill bottle is fine. And so we're going to go ahead and take the wire and a few inches from the end, we're going to form the first part of the heart. Now you need a little bit to wind around the end of the wire. So just go ahead and start it off. And then we're going to bend it back just like that. And I do have templates for hearts as well, other videos for them. So I could link up those below as well. So we're going to go around here just to form the heart. And there's other ways to form the heart. I've, I have other ways that you can make a loop in there. There's all kinds of different ways that you can do the heart. And so here's just sort of a basic heart. If you want to round those ends a little more, just exaggerate them a little bit. Okay. And then decide what size you want it to be and then just give it a bend here. You could use your fingernail or you could just take this and bend it at a bit of an angle. So now when you wrap this around, you want to make sure that it's somewhat symmetrical. You can kind of adjust it back and forth. And so it doesn't get warped. I like to start the bend with my pliers, give it a little starting point, and that way it doesn't shift out of place when you wind it. And then you can just wind it around once or twice around there. And then we can go ahead and clip that. And then you can always give it just a little pinch in here to hold it in place. Now you're going to measure how long you want the handle to be. So say we bring it down to about six inches. It doesn't have to be super long. And then we'll move the ruler and then we're going to bend this as we did before. Bend it up and then hold the end with the flat pliers and work our way up. So you can do a tight uh, bend if you want. If you want to keep it a little bit loose, you can also do that, like to make it a little bit more kind of funky and decorative. If you want to keep the bend more loose, you can do that as well. See that type of thing? So just go ahead and do it how you want. Just hold it and then bring it around. Sometimes it looks funky when it's a loose kind of wind like that and you can even add if you want like little crystals around it as well. So sometimes you're going to have to hold it part way up to actually be able to wind it otherwise it's not going to work so well. And then do some like further apart, some closer together, and then like you might have to hop up a bit again after. You can always put a little bit of tape or or um, something on your pliers so they don't scratch, but generally they're not too bad. So just keep working your way up. I like the way it looks when it's kind of loose like this. The 18 gauge wire is a little bit, you know, stiff, so it kind of holds its form a little more, which is really interesting. So we're going to bring it up and we still even have a little extra left, but that's fine. So the good thing to do up here is you want to actually catch the bottom of this so it doesn't come apart. So go ahead and just so bring that up here a little more. So go ahead and just catch it under there so it doesn't come apart. So now we're going to go ahead and clip it. And then we want to make it even more fancy and we're going to add some beads. I like the way that looks kind of like a little more abstract like that. It's kind of funky. So to add the beads, you can use 20 gauge wire or 20 or 24 gauge wire. I'm just going to use the 20. And so let's just go ahead and attach it at the bottom here just to secure it in place. And then what we want to do is start adding our beads. So I'm going to use my favorite miracle beads. 
because they're magic. Actually, my husband calls them magic beads, and I think some places do call them magic beads. So you're just going to hold this in place and then just wind it around. Okay, you can wind it around a few times. And then we're going to keep it loose, and then let's put another bead on there. So however many beads you want. These are the larger size, the 8 millimeter but you can definitely use like the six millimeter if you prefer, whatever, whatever you like is good. So we're gonna bring that one up here, wind it around a couple of times and put as many as you want. I might put an uneven number. Sometimes I prefer it when it's an uneven number. It looks a little more, I don't know, I think it looks more artistic when there's an uneven number. So we're gonna bring that one around and then every now and then you're going to have to attach it to the edge to keep it in place. We're going to bend that around and if you run out of wire it's really no problem you can just add another piece. So we're going to go up here and the other thing you can do before you go any further is you can actually clip this little end as well because you don't want it to be pokey so just clip that little end and then now we're going to add another bead so maybe we can add a blue bead on there stick that one on there and put this one around and around it would look good too if you did different sizes of beads within this um, alternating size gives it a little more interest as well so whatever whatever appeals to you is great so we're going to bring that in here and then i think what i'm going to do is actually fix it in this area here sometimes when i do the heart with a little loop there then it, i would just stick it through the loop but i'll just do it like that and then bring this one through here and do another one down here this you can adjust too you can adjust the p position of them as you go as well so now I'm going to put a green one on there. And if you don't want to do these loops, you can also do like just crisscross of wire around the heart. That would work too. I do have another either tutorial or live stream where I do a few different hearts and fill them in in different ways. So I'll link that one up below as well that you could see different ways that you can fill in the uh, heart with wire. So we're going to bring that around here and then we just we're going to do one more and we're going to stick the red one on there up here and bring that around. I love these miracle beads. They're so, so beautiful. So we're going to bring this one around here and we have just enough wire. So if we loosen it up a little bit more and then just bend it around here. Okay, we're just going to bend it around a couple of times and then clip the edge. And then all you have to do at the end is you can, you know, adjust these a little bit to be in the right position. And then of course you want to straighten this wire. This is the 18 gauge, so it holds its shape pretty well. If you want it more solid, just use the 16 gauge wire. And there's the one with the heart. So here are our finished wands. The hand with the little spiral fully beaded. The heart with the more loose wrap around the stem and this one with the 16 gauge wire and the crystal or stone wrapped in the middle of the star. So you can check out all the details for the challenge in the description below. If the challenge is already over, no problem. You can still check out the creations in the Facebook event page or on Discord. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire art creations, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I'll put the link below. And also I have a mailing list, so if you'd like to join the mailing list, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching the video. Thanks to everybody who's participating in the challenge and we'll see you the next time.